So some things came up where I felt there needed to be another Widow Aim Tips video made to further explore what it means to understand your mind and improve your shot, creating consistency. Now I'm not the best Widowmaker I know, and I'm on console. So why am I giving Widowmaker aiming advice? Well, the same reason sports coaches don't have to be in physical shape to play the game in order to understand the game. So what happened exactly to get me thinking about this? About a week ago from the time of this video, Kepri uploaded a really cool video where he wanted to show people where his eyes looked while he was playing. And he purchased this eye tracking machine that attaches to the bottom of your monitor and displays this circle representing your eye position. I'll leave a link to the full video below. So as I was watching, I noticed that his eyes would go to his target first before his crosshair got there. In my previous Widowmaker video, I showed this image and said, depending on your focus, you can either see the two faces in the middle or the vase. You cannot see them at the same time, only one. So during a match, what is the most important thing that should be the very center of your vision? Your crosshair or your target? So Kepri has shown that he puts the target in the very center of his vision while using his peripheral vision to keep track of his crosshair and line it up with the target. If you haven't done this yet, you really should because you'll instantly improve with this tip. There was also something else I noticed. Kepri's eyes never went too far away from his crosshairs. Now if you think about it, it actually makes sense. Why would you look on the far side of the screen looking at a target than having to drag your crosshair all the way over to line up the shot? It's just better to keep your vision and crosshair somewhat close to each other. But there's another reason why you should stay close to the center of your screen and close to your crosshair. There's a really neat video made by the ridiculously popular YouTube channel ASAP Science titled, You Can't See This. In it, they show you a black dot on the right side and a cross on the left. Now for this exercise, I want you to close your right eye and look at just the black dot. Then slowly adjust yourself closer or farther from the screen until you cannot see the cross anymore. Did you do it? Well, congratulations, you have just discovered your peripheral vision's blind spot. Now granted, while playing, both of your eyes will be open, so this isn't much of an issue. But it does beg the question, have you accidentally placed your crosshair in your blind spot unknowingly, lost track of it only to scramble trying to regain it back in your vision by shifting your focus away from your target and potentially losing track of them as well? Maybe you have. So I feel the best way to avoid this type of situation is just to make sure your center of vision isn't too far away from your crosshair and constantly moving your crosshair along with your eyes. Actually, it sounds pretty obvious now if you really think about it. But you have a better understanding now and know how to fix this just in case you notice that your eyes are moving more than your crosshair is. Now this was a lot of talk about paying attention to your shot. But overall, you want to get to a point where you are not paying attention to your shot. During a match, you must pay attention to the score, where your teammates are, where the enemy is coming from, the kill feed, etc. Basically everything but how your shot is performing. Why? Well, because you'll get in the way of your muscle memory, which is faster than you trying to carefully calculate each individual shot in your head. Your muscle memory can calculate multiple things much faster, so don't interrupt that process. Now, at this very moment, you actually have muscle memory already. Although it may not be the good kind. For example, I personally have a muscle memory where I always miss a Hanzo's head. And almost always land a shot on a Zarya's head for some reason. Despite me thinking I will or will not land that shot. So my muscle memory when it comes to facing a Hanzo is not the kind of memory I want to have. Personally, I think it's because that wolf head doesn't actually increase his head hitbox and throws me off, but whatever. The point is that I have to fix that bad muscle memory through drills. And I've tried wishful thinking, trust me. I've told myself, you got this, you're better than him, easy kill. And still miss every single shot. Does that mean I suck? Um, yeah, it does. But it doesn't mean I can't improve. Just like you can still improve when say, a tracer rushes you and she's right in your face. But it requires more than giving yourself confidence pep talks. I'll talk about building good muscle memory in another video, but I just wanted to illustrate what Kepri has shown us and hopefully this will help you become Kepri 2 or something. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel.
My name is Chit, and I approve this message.